Happy April Fool's Day, Dean Here you come in. Greetings and welcome to this special April Fool's Day episode of The Commander's Ander. I'm your host, that Mizzou playboy with the glasses, and I bet you're wondering, why are you not seeing The Commander's Ander? And for that I say, that's a very good question. And the answer is, I already told you, it's April Fool's Day, you dunce. So, I figured I would do a review for you, so that that way, we will have completed the full circle with Quarkaboli. Yes. And I bet you're wondering what I'll be reviewing today. Well, in light of my hero, Hugh Hefner, we're going to take a look at the MTV Cribs episode of Playboy Mansion. MTV Cribs was a show in the 2000s on MTV, of course, that showed all of the favorite houses of the favorite people with Quarkaboli. And one of those episodes involved going to the Playboy Mansion, my dream house. So with that, I'm going to review that while Commander Xander enjoys hanging out with Mr. Woodchuck in the closet. So there you go. With that, let's delve into Playboy Mansion with Quarkamoli. Yeah. That was my idol, Hugh Hefner. And by golly, do I idol him so much. With Quackaboli! Yes. What happens in the grotto stays in the grotto. We don't take names. Hello, Mr. I wish I could live that life. Sadly, I have to answer questions for you, which is not a bad alternative. By the way, why haven't you people been watching my videos since I came out of retirement? So as you can see, the episode does start with this intro. And it pretty much tells you what they're going to be delving into. With Crocamoli! And there it is, the Playboy Mansion. Where every man's dream can come true. With Quarkamoli! Yes! Hello there. I'm Hugh Hefner. This is Holly. This is my idol, Hugh Hefner, along with one of his playmates. One of many playmates to hang out at the mansion. This is the Great Hall. I'm digging the damn funk music in the background. With Quarkamoli! Yes! One more time, we're gonna celebrate my return to the big spotlight. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at all the people that Hugh Hefner gets to hang out with. I wish I could do that. Except I have to answer all your questions. So I guess in a way, I'm hanging out with you guys via answering your questions. Which, by the way, if you have questions, feel free to post them on YouTube or tweet them to my Twitter account. There's a reason why I have that Twitter account. So Hugh Hefner talks about watching movies in his mansion. Hey, there's something Commander Xander could enjoy. Right, Commander Xander? Dead silence. He must be really mad at me. Oh, how I live for infamy. This is his office, where he made the first Playboy. This is a photo of me in the summer of 1953, typing out the very first issue of Playboy. And how awesome would that be? It would start a wonderful dynasty. Just like me coming into existence started a wonderful dynasty for answering questions. Which has sadly taken a slow decline because no one's been watching my videos. Seriously, it's like you people think I'm dead or something. I'm not dead. Please, ask me questions again. Especially Bryce Smith, my one true loyal fan. If you're watching this, please ask me questions again. With guacamole! Next we get to see the kitchen. One of the most 
prepares that we have here are caterers. All the food is prepared here, including all the baking. It uh, compares very favorably with a uh, four-star restaurant. So you're telling me that this compares favorably to, say, a Gusto's from Ratatouille, perhaps? I would say so. But you know what's missing in that kitchen? Guacamole! Joy! Okay, guacamole goes well with just about everything. Don't you think? Let's rate Tiffany on the scale! Ding, 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 this is one of the playmates that Hugh Hefner hangs out with. These are my tables. I just got them. Every technique And by golly, would I enjoy yeah, doing it with her. Beats. Along with a bunch of other stuff. Just, yeah, just dance music. She is so dreamy. Wow, she doesn't get much sleep. Of course, as a playmate to Hugh Hefner, you never get any sleep. Because when you're not doing it with Hugh Hefner, you're doing a bunch of other stuff. With guacamole! Yes. Oh, that's a cute little guitar. Skip ahead and take a look at other stuff. Oh my god, Hugh Kepner gets all the hot babes. The house is built in 1927, and this bathroom is from that era. Done in an oriental kind of style. It was very fancy. Very fancy bathroom. Wow, I didn't know Hugh Hefner reviewed mo or watched movies. What is he, the next Roger Ebert? Highly doubt it, but I'm glad that he has a taste for movies. With guacamole, yes. I wish I could say the same thing. Problem is, I have a taste for answering your questions, which, again, why aren't you asking me questions anymore? Look at all the photos of celebrities that have hung out with Hugh Hefner. Sadly, not one of them involves me. Though maybe someday I can be the heir to Hugh Hefner and not only answer your questions, but run the Playboy Mansion. Then I'd be the ultimate chick magnet. C-H-I-C-K, chick. Not shit. Wow. Marilyn Monroe. The one you best remember. And the very first cover. As they say at the end, the Maltese Falcon, the stuff that dreams are made of. Let us show you the property. So now we get to go outside the property, which is something you never get to see unless you have guacamole and you see his wonderful Mercedes Benz convertible. By the end of the decade, I wanted to reinvent myself and start living out the life that was reflected in the magazine. The same time frame that I got the pipe and the smoking jacket, this car is my pride and joy. I wish I would have a car that was my pride and joy. Sadly, I don't. But this corn pipe is my pride and joy, as well as my jacket or robe. Hugh Hefner would be so proud of me. With guacamole! Yes! Check out that gaming room, that's just insane! Look at all these games he's got! My god, I could spend an eternity in this place and never grow bored of myself. With guacamole! Yeah. Look at that, he's even got a pinball machine! Now recently, 
Commander Xander did a review involving a pinball machine. And he, quite frankly, couldn't get what's so great about a pinball machine. Allow me to answer that question for you, Commander Xander. Hey, Commander Xander, you might want to pay attention. This involves you. Quit playing around with Mr. Woodchuck. The great thing about a pinball machine is you get to whack a pinball and score points. And at the end, the machine goes ding, 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 I doubt you're coming back. You got a wonderful thing going for you, Hugh Hefner. I wish I could live that dream too. With guacamole! Yes. Seriously, why aren't you people answer, asking me questions or watching my videos? I'm not dead or something! Can this be proof that I'm not dead? Look at this. A tennis court. He's got his tennis court in his mansion. It's and a pool. Is there anything this man doesn't have in his mansion? I mean, this is insane. Oh, wait. I know he doesn't have. Guacamole! Yes. Look at this. He even has a zoo in his mansion. This is unbelievable. I can't believe I can afford all of this. I would never be able to afford any of this. Hell, I can barely afford this. But even so, this is a luxury to me. With guacamole. Yeah. Look at all these birds he's got. That's insane. He's got a tanning machine. The man has a tanning machine. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. The fact that we are in the middle of Los Angeles, but that you feel as if you're in another world. Look at all those so wonderful babes that you have there's with. He's living my fantasy. We added the hills, the streams, with guacamole. Yes. The waterfall. Look at that, he's got a waterfall. Look at all those magnificent bays. I couldn't imagine doing a typical Hollywood pool here. The grotto! This is insane! What do you think you are, Vegas? With guacamole! Of course you are. There's his bedroom where he watches movies. Look at that. I would kill to have a mansion like that. Answer your questions for you in this place? That would make me a millionaire on YouTube. If I could afford it, that is. But sadly, I can't. So I'm reduced to just answering your questions. Which, by the way... Ask me questions! But it's the middle of the day. Hugh Hefner, your, 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 your shades are confusing you. So there you go. There's a look at MTV Cribs' view of Playboy Mansion. By golly, is it a wonderful place to be in. Hell. I bet Commander Xander will get a bunch of chicks over there, right, Commander Xander? All right, don't say you're not done. You're done with this thinking video. I'm gonna get you. Oh no! Oh, I better go. Bye, kitties. Whoops! Ah, get over here! You can't get me, Playboy. You can't get me.
kids me, you can't kids me. Na 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 na. Will get away, you stupid stinking animal. What is wrong with you? Na 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 na. You can't catch me. Ooh, you're never gonna catch me. Stop acting like we took that guy and get back in the goddamn closet where you belong. God damn it, you. Na 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 na. You can't catch me. Wait, black and holy. Yes. Stop it. Will you get out of here? Give me that fucking phone, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm standing there, you stinking playboy. Good God almighty. That's the last time I ever do it, let, let him do a stinking review. Stupid April Fool's I don't care if it's April Fool's Day. That is the last time you ever do, playboy. Stick with the goddamn questions. I'm the commander's answer. I remember it so that it's not a great goddamn do, and neither should you.